Oh, you can ride this. Oh, this is sick. But the thing, like, is moving. So, like, it, it's, it sways in the wind. So, where you take off from, when you come back down, the ramp's moved a little bit. So, it's really easy to hang up on the coping or, like, not land in the transition very well. What up, everyone? How's it going? It's me, Marcus, back here. BMX Streets Pipe and in this video we are checking out a new map made by Fish Tacos and it is uh, the Grand Theft Auto skate parks. I'm not too, I'm not too familiar with these skate parks in Grand Theft Auto so I'm not sure how accurate they are. Uh, this right here I'm pretty sure is uh, kind of like the Venice Beach skate park. I, I have played Grand Theft Auto a little bit uh, in my time on earth but not a whole lot, especially the skate parks. I mean, Grand Theft Auto doesn't have very good bike physics or skateboard physics. It's it's just basically cars that do well in that game and planes as well. Um, helicopters are pretty good in Grand Theft Auto as well, but you won't find me at the skate park in that game just because it's not very fun. At least in my opinion, it's not very fun. But I guess this is a compilation of all the skate parks in the Grand Theft Auto games kind of mashed up into one map. Again, I'm not sure what's what. I don't know which park is from which game, but this is just a really cool compound in general uh, for BMX Street's pipe to be modded in here. Um, I mean, you've got the floating half pipe here, which is really cool. All the signage, the desert, the purple dinosaur, the big bridge back there. Um, all of this is rideable as well. So all of these sand dunes out here, they're all rideable. These plane parts are rideable. That plane in the distance is rideable. You can ride anywhere out here and uh, it's a fun place to explore. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's uh, ride this place, see what it's about, and see if I can find some cool transfers. The half pipe floating up there, I am gonna get to riding that later in the video. I think it's pretty cool. I don't think the map creator would put that there if you could not ride it. I'm not sure how to get up there, but I'll, I'll figure it out in this video. This is a really cool map. All of these little skate parks throughout throughout this level they're all a little bit different so like this is more of kind of like a raw skate park with the concrete there's a there's a few concrete parks out here oh my god how is that possible how is that possible i just did two tricks back to back that i feel like should not be done it's cool because all of these parks are separate but you can uh you can kind of flow them together with how this place is built. So you can go from one skate park to the other. <laughs> oh my god! You can go from one skate park to the other uh, pretty seamlessly. So now I'm going over here to this other skate park. And they're all just kind of smashed in this one area. A lot of them have fences, but I mean, you can hop over the fences. That is a steep quarter pipe. Oh my god. I am noticing that the layout of these skate parks is real funky. Because again, they're made for GTA. And that game, it's not its not an action sports game. I mean, GTA is what GTA is. So these skate parks are not meant to really flow. They're not meant to even work the way that the skate parks in BMX Streets pipe. The way they work. These things ride pretty weird. And... That's not, that's not the map creator's fault. He did an incredible job putting these skate parks into this game. Um, that's just how, that's just how the skate parks in GTA were. But still, I mean, you can find some really cool lines and transfers out here. Just because BMX Street's pipe, it's just such a phenomenal game. The way that the bike works, the way that this game just kind of handles, um, if that makes sense. These skate parks, even though even though they were designed in Grand Theft Auto, the dude that ported these over or, or made them, I don't know, I don't think he ported these over. I think he made these, but I'm not entirely sure. Fish Tacos, that's the guy's name on Discord. He did an incredible job with these. However, he got these into this game. He did a really good job making this um, making this work. Got this bowl right here. Let's see if I can. Never mind. I was gonna say, let's see if I can get some flow going in here. Oh, dude, yeah, so bowls can be a little tricky to ride. 
just because the way that the uh the physics in this game work oh that was cool Let's see if i can transfer over to that weird bowl right over there Oh, that's not it. Whoa, that was weird. Ooh, that was not very smooth. I kind of landed up on the deck there. Oh, man, that would have been cool if I would have actually, like, landed back in the bowl and rode out of it. There's the transfer, and it was hideous. That was terrible. Okay, so that skate park's cool. It's a little tight, a little cramped, but pretty fun. <laughs> I was not, I was, I was just trying to get down the steps there. I was not trying to do a, uh, a fakie grind down that little ledge. I didn't even know that was grindable. So they've got the half pipe over here. This reminds me of the rocket power half pipe. If you guys are familiar with the show Rocket Power that was on Nickelodeon back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, Action Sports Kids is uh, is the whole background of that game. Like the kids the game. They did have Rocket Power games, but the show, um, it was some kids that, you know, grew up in Southern California, I think, and they were into skateboarding, snowboarding, BMX. No, actually, I don't think they were into BMX. Skateboarding was the main one they were into. Um, but that half pipe that I was just riding, that's uh, that's what the half pipe looked like at Madtown Skate Park. I don't know how my bike got stuck in like that. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try and get back on it. It's not gonna work. Drop onto his butt each time. <laughs> All right, let's head over here to the desert. Still a couple more skate parks to check out. There's uh, a big bowl or something over here inside this. I don't want to call it a building because it doesn't have a roof over the top. It's just four walls. Um, and, and those walls have giant holes in them. So this uh, remnants of what used to be a building, I guess. Let's see how much speed I can build up on this thing. Not a whole lot. I might need to go at it the other way, but I don't think you can because it has like two small bank ramps. So this is kind of the only way that you can ride it half pipe style, unless I do this and ride it back and forth here. There's not as much of a flat bottom, so I should be able to get more speed. I kind of want to not do that. I kind of want to boost out over the top of the roof or where the roof would be. The wall, I want to boost higher than the wall. All right, I've got the height. Oh, dude, I might be able to ride on the wall. That will be cool. Oh, no. I can boost out over the top. Oh, that is so sweet. This thing's smooth, too. I just did the same trick. I'm trying to get like a triple whip or something on it. Might be able to get a quad. Oh my god, I keep doing the one footer. I do want to see if I can build up the speed um, to actually land on top of the wall. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but it's going to be fun to try. Oh, dude, I thought that was going to be it. All right, one more try here. Nope, nope. I, <laughs> I tried to get further out to get closer to the wall so it would land me on the wall instead of on the coping of the uh, the quarter pipe. But if that happens, then I just kind of smack into the wall. It's one of those things where you have to just get it perfect. And for me, a lot of times with this game, getting something perfect is by chance, not by skill. So I could sit here all day long and try and get this and, you know, never get it once. And then all of a sudden I could come in here and I could try it for five minutes and then, you know, get lucky and get it once. So it's one of those things where I don't know how long this is actually going to take. Oh, there's a wall ride. I'll take that. That was sweet. All right, let's go see what else is out here. Oh, dude, I thought I was going to land that. That would have been sweet. Oh, check it out. The wind turbine is actually moving. That's a cool little detail. This place is put together extremely well. Look at this shipping container. You can ride that thing. Super sketchy, but you can ride it. I like this map a lot because it's different. You can, you know, like I said, ride the dunes and try and find different transfers out here, which a lot of maps don't have anything like this. A lot of maps, it's the skate park and that's it. You don't have, you know, the parts outside the map to try and ride. But this one, you have all kinds of different, you know, 
objects and things outside of the sand dunes. Like, what is going on over here? Oh, dude, look, it's uh, what are those? The the aliens from Alien vs. Predator or whatever? I think, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a movie guy. I don't really watch movies, so. I don't know if I've seen that movie. I might have seen that movie, but if I have, it's been a long time. Oh, there we go. It's not flat. You kind of have to ride on the side. <laughs> but it's cool. You can you can try and ride on it. I mean, it didn't really go too well for me, but I like the objects out here. Oh, we've got another alien. He's hugging a tree. At least that's what I think he's doing. I'm not going to invest investigate anymore. So you've got the dish over here. You can ride on this thing. It's just really cool outside the skate park. Oh my God, I made it through the fence somehow. Don't think I was supposed to do that. So I think this is the last skate park that I have to ride. This one looks pretty cool. Again, kind of, kind of interesting with how big a lot of these quarter pipes are. Um, and just like, again, you can kind of tell that this, this skate park was made to look cool and not be very functional because G a GTA, oh my God, what is my cat doing? In GTA, you really can't ride the skate parks very well. <laughs> so they just, they kind of look really good in the game, but as far as the functionality of it, it's not really good. Like, look at this, like what, what is this? You know, like what? <laughs> What, what what is this i mean it's a half pipe but this is gonna ride horribly i mean you can ride it it's not very good but you can ride it oh there we go it is it is so steep and that transition is quick and what is this the goofiest little box jump like you can tell that, that this skate park, <laughs> you can tell that this skate park was not built for BMX Streets Pipe. Definitely built for Grand Theft Auto, the way it rides. Oh, off the cow? Okay, I did not land in the quarter pipe, but I landed back on top of it. Oh my, what? <laughs> what? Almost had it. I don't even know what happened there. Slow-mo front flip over the box jump. That thing rides really good. Dude, I just hang up every single time. Dude, it's swaying in the wind. There's got to be a way to get up there. So there's a teleport here, which I've never used. Uh, so this is part of the mod. Um, th this whole game is modded on PC. Um, and I did not even know that this teleport was here. Oh, you can ride this. Oh, this is sick. But the thing like is moving. So like it, it's it sways in the wind. So where you take off from when you come back down, the ramp spimped a little bit. So it's really easy to hang up on the coping or like not land in the transition very well. This is so cool, though. I love the fact that it, oh the bike flip oh it's sketchy super sketchy it like disappeared on me oh dude I just now realized it's not moving in the wind the entire crane is moving oh my god one of these guys up in the crane tower as the crane operator look at that oh dude that was almost it that was almost it this is Perfect. Oh my god. I will take that. I was gonna say this is gonna be really difficult and then I got it perfectly That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed this thing This is such a cool map again these GTA parks Initially not built to be ridden really um, these GTA parks are kind of funky, but fish tacos has done a really good job of uh, implementing these parks and making them fun to ride. Even even keeping the wonkiness of GTA right here in BMX Streets Pipe, they're still fun to ride. So thank you guys for checking this out and go check out this park if you haven't played it yet.